conifers never really went away, but it feels as if we're discovering their charms all over again. Working a strong look all year round in the garden with really vibrant green energy that adds an unexpected textural dimension to planting and container displays, providing considerable personality and undeniable presence, conifers are definitely coming back to the centre of the horticultural conversation again. Our childhood encounters with plants and outdoor spaces are very tactile and immersive experiences. At such a young age, our love of plants often comes from the immediate sensory impact, from bright colours, delicious scent, the sounds and sensations of kicking piles of crisp autumn leaves, running around barefoot on soft grass, tasting freshly picked fruits. But as we grow into adults, our innate preferences become swayed by social influences and the idea that particular plant choices and garden features project a more socially desirable, classier, refined, more in vogue or on trend image than others. In the UK, one group of plants that found themselves kicked beyond the margins of high horticultural fashion about 50 years ago is the conifer. This group with its seed-bearing cones ranges from magisterially tall trees to miniature ground-covering cascades of foliage and includes species such as cedars, cypresses, firs, junipers, larches, redwoods, spruces, yews and pines. But it is most especially dwarf and smaller trees that have come to symbolise a dated, mundanely uninspiring suburban garden landscape. One horticultural luminary even described conifers as NAF 70s throwbacks, punctuating ill-formed rock gardens like unsightly, redundant missiles. Ouch. Yet at one time in British society, conifers were thought of in the highest terms. Take, for example, this opening paragraph from a 1933 article in monthly gentleman's magazine, The Field. Dwarf conifers are such curious and beautiful plants that merely writing about them is most unsatisfactory. What one needs is the brush of a gifted Japanese or Chinese artist to portray adequately the rare loveliness and extraordinary range of their colourings, the beauty of their forms, the fantastic charm. And it is particularly, though not only, in the winter months that the loveliness of evergreen conifers shines through, providing a protective shelter for insects and bird life, and larger plants with denser foliage can be used as wind, noise and air pollution barriers, while the more delicately adorned create beautiful movement in the slightest breeze. But as the field article suggests, conifers can also have extraordinary and curious qualities about them. The weeping varieties develop particularly endearing quirks and no two plants ever grow with identical form. This is the kind of heart-meltingly cute little pet you can instantly fall in love with and just want to pick up and take home with you if you could. Weeping cedars often have the magic of wise and ancient old wizards casting secret spells across the landscape. In recent years at one of the most famous gardens in England, the iconic and gorgeously inspirational Great Dixter in East Sussex, custodian and head gardener Fergus Garrett has been challenging the way conifers are, if not derided, and certainly often overlooked by the Good Taste Brigade. 
At Great Dixter, impressive yew hedging and topiary are long-established features, but other conifers have always been integrated into the borders, for example in the vibrant long border with its closely woven tapestry of colour and texture. The 50-year-old dwarf mountain pine creates a stunning and unexpectedly perfect contrast with an intertwined ombre pink sweet pea flower, its needles giving the convincing impression of brush strokes in a Monet masterpiece of floral celebration. But it is the enclosed exotic garden that has been drawing particular attention to the unrestrained potential of planting with conifers. There are still features here hinting that this was once a rose garden. It was originally designed by Edwin Lutyens and there was an outcry when the ailing roses were removed and replaced with late summer exotics such as dahlias and cannas and impactful feature foliage like hardy bananas. Today, conifers help create a very up close and personal, almost eerily atmospheric experience. Their delicate filigree foliage and contorted forms contrasting with the jungle of larger lusher leaves, but their personalities are far from dainty. These are boldly elegant characters demanding that you stoop to pass or that you stop to appreciate the arresting leafy vignettes they create. They seem full of beauty character and confidence, with scent and incredibly tactile attitude, finding or perhaps demanding their place in a new hybrid of imaginative planting and design, and contributing to a unique and otherworldly atmosphere. At the Chelsea Flower Show 2022, conifers also made medal-winning appearances, for example in the Medite Smart Ply Building the Future Garden, a carbon-capturing landscape by Sarah Eberly, awarded gold. The space has elements of both historical industrial reference and slightly gothic Victorian fantasy, and no fairy tale is complete without the tiered fir tree with its feeling of hidden magic or the evocative character of a Scots pine. The Scots pine and Swiss stone pine were also featured in a Swiss sanctuary designed by Lily Gomm for Switzerland tourism, a bronze medal garden which blended alpine, Mediterranean and woodland plants. The colour and tone in these images has not been artificially boosted in any way, even though the blue sky, dark pine foliage and intense rhododendron and azalea flower colour look as if they've come straight from the oversaturated pages of a 1960s magazine. Imagine the full-on pink displayed without the cool, lush relief of the deep green pine foliage. It would immediately lose part of its power and charm, so colour for colour may not always take centre stage, but can make an essential contribution to the overall design impact of flowering plant choices. Another gold medal garden was Chris Beardshaw's RNLI garden for the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. Here, the Scots pine represented one of the traditional lifeboat building materials. In 2019, Chris Beardshaw also took gold for the Morgan Stanley Garden, where a breathtaking Austrian pine with its dramatically curved and textured trunk created a stunning natural sculpture. Which just goes to show that with every conifer planted, we are creating atmosphere and interest and even planting our own potential work of living art.